something that you took from Catholic prep, a uh, Catholic <coughs> marriage prep that you use today in your marriage that blesses you today? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I think one of the th um, kind of pointers or questions maybe that I revisit sometimes is when we're talking about what direction we go next within our family or in careers or whatever. And in part way through the program, it talks about Ephesians 5, which is always very touchy mm -hmm. for um, usually women in particular about being subordinate. Mm -hmm. And one of the points they make is that subordination isn't being a doormat, it's, and being submissive is not allowing him to do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. It's actually ordering my mission toward his, and hi, him ordering his mission toward our family's mission. Mm -hmm. And that has been actually really helpful for me to kind of revisit as we're talking about, um, you know, purchasing a house, which we did not mm -hmm. too long ago. How do I support Paul in this? Um, what is my role as a wife, and how mm -hmm. do I order my mission so that we're together instead of I'm going to do these things with the family mm -hmm. and the kids in my part-time job, and you do your stuff, and then every once in a while we'll eat dinner together. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Unless anybody think that she was just following my lead. <laughs> There's, if, if she's going to follow my mission, it's got to be a good mission in the first place. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's my responsibility is to say, uh, back to the selfishness topic, am I pursuing this thing, whether it's buying a house or changing careers or uh, looking to go back to school or any, any consideration that pops in my mind, the first question always has to be, is this good for my family? Am I showing love to my wife and my children mm -hmm. by pursuing this thing or am I just pursuing this for selfish ends? And if, and if I'm truly being selfless and I'm truly being a caring husband, then she has a mission that's worth following. But that mission always has to be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What about the communication? You guys touched upon that, how he said one thing, you heard another. <laughs> what have you learned about that good communication in marriage? Oh, man. I think the most important thing for me in our communication has all, besides maybe asking, <laughs> what did, this is what I heard, is that what you meant? Yeah. Um, and I mentioned this earlier, but really is always assuming the best of intentions. Mm -hmm. Because when I assume the best of intentions, um, things go a lot easier and a lot smoother, and I can ask questions about something I didn't understand without assuming it was a personal attack on me. Or right, right. obviously he doesn't love me this morning <laughs> because <laughs> there are the socks on the floor, you know, <laughs> whatever it might be. But I think that's been very helpful, and it's, it's what I share most with people is assume the best of the other It gives you some person. space to work it out, too, yeah. right? If, yep. if you give them that. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and, you, Father. Uh, Thanks for having us. That's Catholic marriage prep, and uh, you all are <laughs> testimony to its, uh, its good work. So, Well, um, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May our Heavenly Father shine His, faith upon you, shine His face upon you and give you His peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you next week. Thank you.